So this is going to be my October empties video. I'm going to go through and show you all the products that I finished up in the month of October. And just a little disclaimer, I didn't use all of this stuff up start to finish in the month of October. I've been working on some of these for a very long time. So let me start off with the makeup. I actually don't have any items that were finished off in any seasonal challenges or project pans or anything. So first of all, I have this little mini of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This dried out on me pretty quick. I was kind of surprised. So the wand looks like that. It just felt like it got so clumpy after a couple weeks. So that is the wand and I probably won't pick this mascara up in the future in the full size just because I prefer some different formulas of mascaras and I have a ton of them still in my back stock. I have a little mini lip gloss here. This is from Bite. This came in a like a Black Friday set from Sephora a year or two ago and I cleaned out the inside of it. I took the stopper out of it. I have a video on that if you're curious on how to do that, but clean this all out. It was actually a really light pink shade. It was a gorgeous color, but I have a problem with these lip glosses. They almost seem to go on a little bit patchy and they're extremely sticky, so I'm probably not gonna pick any of the Bite lip glosses up in the future. This one was in the shade Strawberry, by the way. Oh, I lied. I do have an item that was in a project pan, but it wasn't finished in the project. So this is my MAC PowerPoint Eye Pencil in Bordeaux line. That is all that's left of it. The last time that I sharpened it, there you can see the tip of it. The pencil isn't in here anymore. It's extremely small, can't sharpen it. So this guy is finally finished off. You actually can't back to MAC items like this from MAC if there's no actual packaging left. If you have to sharpen it, whether it be a lip liner or an eyeliner or something, those don't qualify for the back to MAC program, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna toss that one. I have a lip product here. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Color Balm. This one's in the shade 04 Mega Melon. This was an okay shade. I had to mix this one generally with other lip products, but that is what it looks like there. It's used up, it's flat. And let me see if I can give you a swatch of this. These are extremely sheer lip products, but they actually provide a decent amount of moisture to the lips and just a sheer tint. So that is, what was it, Mega Melon? Yeah. <laughs> so then I have an eye product. This is a Maybelline Color Tattoo. This was in my Finish 4 by 4th of July, and I just had a little bit left of this at the very end of that challenge. This one's in Pure Nude. Let me show you the inside there. Finally cleaned that one out in the past couple months. And I'm gonna hold on to these. I've mentioned this before, but I like to put any cream products that I'm depotting or something, I'll put them in here. It's just an easier way to travel with cream products instead of taking a large container. I have a lip balm here. This is the Sugar Advanced Therapy lip balm from Fresh. Even though this is the advanced therapy one, I found that it didn't seem to be any better than the regular ones. So I think they're the same price, but I would probably skip out on these in the future. I found a couple other lip balms that I prefer over the Fresh ones. So I have two other mascaras, and these have previously been opened. Once I finished that Tarte one, I went into my mascara stash and grabbed these. I, I knew that the Blink one had been opened before, but I wasn't aware that I had opened up this Clinique one. This Clinique one is the High Impact Mascara in black, and I actually really enjoy this mascara when it's fresh. That is what the wand looks like there. It does provide quite a bit of volume on the lashes, so it's a really nice mascara if you want like a, it's almost like a smoky, thick eyelash kind of look. So there's that one. I used that one for a couple weeks and then I went on to this one. This is a really cool mascara if you're into tubing mascaras. But this is the Blink Mascara Amplified. 
it says stop painting your lashes, tube them. And the cool thing about tubing mascaras, and this one specifically, is at the end of the day, instead of getting eye makeup remover on a little cotton square or cotton round or something, you can actually just get your fingers wet, hold them on your lashes, and you can just pull off the mascara. It comes off in little black tubes. It's the coolest thing ever. But anyway, this one has dried out. It doesn't perform very well anymore. It's been open for probably six months, even though I don't like to say that. <laughs> but that is what the wand there looks like. And if I didn't mention, this is in the black shade. There is a L'Oreal mascara that the drugstore has for a little bit cheaper than this. And I actually really like it. It has a red end and then on the other side it's white and that one performs almost identically to this so if i wanted a tubing mascara in the future i would just pick up the l'oreal one another lip gloss is this one from buxom this is in the shade yes you this was more of just your basic nude shade and this is one of their full bodied lip glosses so again, took the stopper out of that one and cleaned this out. I actually am getting pretty low on my Buxom glosses. There won't be too many more. I think I have three or four left in my collection and then I'm completely done with my Buxom glosses. Hallelujah. I really learned my lesson from buying those little holiday lip gloss sets. Never again, never ever again. My favorite top coat of all time is the Seshvit top coat. And I just finished off my Sesh Clear base coat, I believe it was last month. But anyway, this one thickened up quite a bit. And even though if this was a polish, I could probably still use it a couple more times. And my thinner is just not working on this one either. I don't know, I think Sesh, the Sesh company makes their own specific thinner to use on their base coats and top coats because the thinner that I have just isn't working on them. So I might have to invest in that in the future at some point. But for now, I'm just gonna toss them when they get down to that little bit left there. So anyway, there's that one. I have some fragrances here. This first one, this is the Ralph Lauren Midnight Romance Perfume. Love this scent. This was one of my new discoveries from 2014. It's a lovely scent and I actually prefer to wear it more in the fall and winter than in, you know, the warmer months. So I have a little solid perfume here. This is Taylor by Taylor Swift. I think I picked this up last Christmas or right after Christmas. It was on clearance for like a buck or two and I cleaned it all out there. So you can see I'm actually not the biggest fan of this fragrance from Taylor Swift. She does have one that's in like a pinkish purple bottle. I think it's the Wonderstruck Enchanted perfume. That one is really nice, but this one, not, not my favorite, but it, it was only a couple bucks. Beauty Scents Wild Raspberry and Bright Strawberry like body spray here. It's in Berry Wild. I've been working on this for close to two years, I would say. It's been in my car. I just spray this a couple times. When I get into the car, it dissipates really quickly. It doesn't hang around for very long, but it's just a nice, you know, like instead of having an air freshener, I'll just spray a couple spritzes of this and this lasts forever. I picked this up from like uh, Ross, I believe it was, and it was only $3.99. So then I have some face products here. My all time favorite, face lotion is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion and they've since reformulated it but I feel like it works almost identical to the old formula. I seem to just fly through this lately because the weather is getting a little bit colder and my skin really enjoys this. I use that morning and night, by the way. I have a little sample of this eye cream. This is the Philosophy Miracle Worker anti-aging retinoid eye repair cream and I really wasn't a fan of this. It was like this yellow shade and it was more of a serum than it was anything else. Like I said, really wasn't a fan of this. It didn't layer well with other face products that I used at nighttime. Here's another Clinique product. This came from a gift with purchase when I picked up one of the uh, dramatically different moisturizing lotions that I just showed you, but this one I just used 
as a neck cream because it was a gel. This is their Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief product and think it would probably work a little bit better for somebody with oily skin. I don't know. It just didn't work well with mine and I have dry skin. So it looks like there's product up at the top, but I literally cleaned every last drop that I could get out of this. A couple more products here. This is a moisturizing facial wash from Simple. I thought this was fine. It just seemed like a basic face wash, but I have a couple in my back stock, some little samples and a couple full sizes, so I definitely don't need to purchase any more of these in the near future, but I would think about this next time I run out of face wash. Then this is the Caudalie Venosource Moisturizing Sorbet, and just a little deluxe size sample of this one. Again, I use this one on my neck, uh, it was nice, but not not going to purchase this one over the Clinique. Another little sample of the Fresh Age Delay Black Tea Eye Concentrate. Love this thing. Um, I'm I've been holding off on picking up the full size because it's over eighty dollars for the full size. And honestly, if I don't have some kind of a discount on an eighty dollar eye cream. Probably not going to pick it up. So there's two sheet masks here. This first one, this is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Blue Agave Hydrating Facial Paper Mask. This is supposed to hydrate dry, thirsty skin. And honestly, this is the second one of these that I've used. And both times, I thought the first time was just a fluke, but the second time it happened too. My face got really red right after I had peeled this off after it sat on the face for a little bit. And I just felt like it was a little sticky. I really wasn't impressed with this one. And honestly, I don't know if sheet masks really do that much for your skin in the first place. They're just kind of nice and relaxing to have on for a good 15 minutes. The other one is the Bio Republic Aloe Rescue Revitalizing Fiber Mask. And I believe this one came out of Ipsy, but just like with the other one, I really didn't see any major drastic difference before or after I took it off, so definitely won't be picking up any more of those. I don't even know where you could pick that up, honestly. This is a product that I have had around for about two years as well. This is the up and up version of Witch Hazel, just the Target brands, and you can actually use straight up Witch Hazel as a toner. I think this was under two bucks at Target, so if you're in the market for a toner, check this out. This is a little sampler pack from Jack Black. I only have two of the pods here. I used two and my husband used two of them. So. Initially, it came with the Pure Clean Daily Facial Cleanser. I used one of those up. It was okay. I don't know if I would switch over from Clinique to this, though, honestly. And then the other one that I used is the Double Duty Face Moisturizer. This one actually has sunscreen in it, and the Clinique one doesn't have sunscreen, so I have to use two separate products. So I would consider purchasing this in the full size in the future. I have some hair products now. This one I've been working on since probably the middle of last year. This is the Chi Ultimate Control Fast Drying Volume Shaping Spray. And this is one of their Farouk Royal Treatment products from that line. And I picked this one up at TJ Maxx. This was on sale. Normally it's about $20. I picked this one up for $9.99. I did not like this product. It took me so long to finally go through this. This is one of the items that I'm trying to use up before the end of 2015, so really happy that I finished this one off before the end of the year. This other one here, I only had a little bit left in this when I ran out of the Chi one, so I just finished this one off. It's a, like a little spritzer non-aerosol hairspray, but it smells so good. This is the Bedhead or Tigi, T-I-G-I, maxed out massive hold hairspray. Seriously, next time you're in Target or any salon area that carries the Bedhead products, smell this. It smells so good. As crazy as it sounds, I would pick up another one of these hairsprays just to smell this scent every once in a while. It smells really delicious. 
The last hair product I have is another one of these Revlon Color Silk hair dyes. This one's in number 11, which is soft black, and it's under $3 at Walmart. It's just really easy to pick up and do a quick root touch up like every three, three and a half weeks. So there's that one. This one is from Bath & Body Works. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel Ultra Shea 24 hour moisture body cream product. This smells so good. Oh my goodness. I cut this one open, got everything out of here that I possibly could. The keynotes are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow kissed musk. This is so yummy. This is out right now at Bath & Body Works, so definitely go pick this up. This one's from last year, but it smells the same every year. They bring it back every Christmas, so check this out next time you're near Bath & Body Works. I have a lotion that came from Ipsy. This is the Beauty Without Cruelty Premium Botanical Fragrance-Free Hand and Body Lotion. I really didn't like this. I kept this one in my purse. I just used it to use it up. Wasn't a fan, wouldn't search this out in the future. So just happy that it's finally gone. And the final lotion I have is the Dead Sea Hand and Body Lotion. This one's in the fragrance Horizon. I don't know about this one. The fragrance on this was just very odd to me. It almost had like a cologne fragrance to it and the texture of the actual lotion was very, very odd. It didn't want to rub into the skin at all. I would never, ever, ever pick up another one of these deep sea cosmetics body lotions, ever. A couple random products. This is the Method White Cranberry Foaming Hand Soap. This is from their fall collection. I got this last year, I think but it was decent. I have some refillable packets of Method soap that I might pour into this, but all in all, when you can get the Bath & Body Works foaming hand soaps on sale, I feel like they're almost the same price, if not cheaper than the Method ones, so I'll just stick with those. From now on, I have a little hand sanitizer. This is from the health department. So just a little sprayer guy like this. It was handy. I think you can actually refill these. If I find some hand sanitizer laying around the house, I'll put it in this because it's really nice to have this in your purse. There is a deodorant here. I talked about this in my February favorites and unfortunately I had to toss it before I was completely finished with it. I used over half of this product. This is the Old Spice Wolf Thorn deodorant. The reason why I picked this up is because not only does it smell fantastic, it didn't have aluminum in it and I was really excited to find a drugstore alternative rather than pick up a more expensive version. This one, it just gave me a red rash under my arm and my skin did not react well to this. So I had to use this probably once a week. I couldn't use it more than that or else I would get a rash under my arm, which is not comfortable. It's a little too much information in my opinion. So I'll just leave it at that. If you're in the market for one and you wanted to try this out, I think it's about four bucks at Walmart. So not a bad option if your body doesn't react to it. There's some wax products here and I'm done. So I have two of these little wax squares or wax tarts. This one is from J&G's Heavenly Scents Hand Poured Cinnamon and Nutmeg Tart Melts. These were really nice. You really can't pick up on the nutmeg very much. It's mostly cinnamon, but this was lovely. I think this is a local company. I also have the Scentsy Simple Cinnamon Scentsy Bar. <laughs> I was really fond of cinnamon this past month, but I used all of these up. This one was a decent scent. The J&G Wax Tarts over here, these ones actually smelled a lot more like cinnamon than the one from Scentsy, but I mean, you, you could recognize the scent from either one. And then I also have a Woodwick candle here. This one is in pomegranate. This was a really lovely candle. I thoroughly enjoyed it all the way through. And I picked this one up at, I think it was at TJ Maxx, but if you're unfamiliar with Woodwicks, they actually crackle as they burn. There's an actual wood wick on the inside of them. They're quite expensive, 
if you pick them up through the website or online or something, but if you can find them at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, anywhere like that, it's definitely worth picking them up. So anyway, that is finally everything for my empties from this past month. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Honey, that noise is really distracting. Oh, that's the dog. Wow.